when the sponsor comes through. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait. All right, guys, so let's uh, do this unboxing. So I wonder what these are. All right, so let's see what they got. What? Got some license plate holders. Godspeedproject.com. Some decals. Lanyards. Coming through. Then basically it just tells us all the stuff that we got here. And these are, oh, hold on. Oh, what? They even gave us banners for the sides of the car. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Oh, they even printed it out the other way so you can put it on the car too. That is sick. Oh my goodness. I am stoked. Our wrenches. It's actually got Godspeed Project Mono and RS on them. Sick. And then the coilovers for the daily. I want to put these on right now. <laughs> oh, these are sick. So I'm going to take these out of the plastic and line them up for you guys and have you check them out. All right, guys. So with these, these are absolutely insane. Um, basically, what we have here is we have our uh, 8K spring rate here on the fronts and then 6K spring rate on the rears. Um, and they actually have 32 levels of uh, dampening. So that is sick. I am so stoked for this. Thank you so much, Godspeed. I can't wait to put these on the car um, and basically get all this stuff going. So thank you so much. Um, so let's start working on it and uh, let's get this done. So out here at the shop, about to get the coilovers in. Twan's doing some work on this right-hand drive. Sick ass car. Out here with Twan, the homie, chilling, going to uh, what? Tangs? Tangs. Tangs. <laughs> He's like Tangs. Going to get some food before we get some freaking work done. They've been working on some sick cars lately, though. But um, but yeah, now nah, we're about to go hit this up, get some food, and hang out for a little bit. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, Tangs. What's up? Yo, these are no joke. These things. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so basically what you gotta do is uh, I've already gone over this once or twice, but I mean we can do it again no problem. So what we're gonna be doing is replacing these guys here. So they are shot. I'm pretty sure they're OEM, so first thing you gotta do, jack up the car, jack stands, shock blocks behind the wheel, good to go. Take your wheel off. And then basically all it is, is you have these two bolts here and then you have this bottom bolt right here. And then uh, basically like the, the lines actually connect to the strut. So all you have to do is undo those, which is probably gonna be a bitch because they're probably gonna be rusted. And then, uh, like I said, take that off and all we have really do is just pop it off and just drop it through. All right guys, so I'm starting to take off everything out of the back. So since it's OEM, everything is bone stock in here. Um, I skip, obviously skipped over a little a couple things, but um, all you have to do is you have to take off literally every single piece of plastic in the back. Um, there's gonna be bolts all around. So don't try to just start pulling on stuff because you might break these tabs off. So um, you just gotta be very, very careful. What you'll do is you'll start from the center piece, work on over, work on over. There'll be uh, bolts right here bolts down here around and then there's more bolts on this side so closer to the driver's seat there's gonna be one right here so all I gotta do is take that one out and then uh, we'll pop this off and it'll look like this on this side and then this is our strut here so it's two bolts bang all set so uh, I'm just finishing up on this side right now all right Twan so what are we doing here uh, we're setting the preload on the on the springs so it doesn't slop around. Got to make sure we do it on all of them right about the same way. 
you don't want to over over tighten them because you ruin this bushing right here and i think that's it for now until we get it on the car figure out what's what so basically all he's doing is just setting the preload like you said for the spring so we're compressing the spring a little bit not too much but not too little it's just so we can kind of break in the spring and then like I said, we'll throw these on, and then after that, we'll actually be able to adjust ride height within time. We need to put a couple miles on to break in the actual strut itself. Yeah, some hard and soft settings. Yeah, I just took out two front struts in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Try doing that on a Subaru that's like 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah guys these are legit no joke the oem nissan struts on here that's crazy so these things are it's a 92 and it's what 2018 so <laughs> just do the math like that's that's 26 years old, 26 years old struts i've been daily in this too for like a while and I, I like the reason main reason why I was going for these too is that like every time I hit a bump It sounded like a freaking grenade going off in my front of my car All right, so we're gonna start putting this one in all you got to do is basically just reverse the step put it in you'll uh, You'll slide it through and then you'll get the uh, Bolts through here and we'll just tighten them just a little bit and then we'll be able to figure it out uh, with the bottom one When uh, we put it in down here So we're we're um Send the ride height, and uh, I got one in the car that I already set the ride height in, and I pretty much take a measurement of the threads, the distance between the collars, and I match it up right there. So what we got now is uh, three quarters of an inch, and I should drop the car about an inch or so, um, theoretically, but we'll know more once the car is on the ground and you drive it around. Just to make sure everything's good, you know what I mean? Heard that, bro. We're not putting these in and like slamming the car right away because we need to break these in. You don't want to just slam it down to the ground and just ride out on it. Even though people do do that, uh, that's not the right way to actually break in coilovers. So. All right, guys. So um, me and Tuan figured this out. So we were wondering what this came in. So this bat, this came in the bag with the. Uh, right here like with your, your other nuts and such so basically these are your spacers for the rear uh coilovers um due to the fact that these are a little bit wider than like tokikos or stocks so they give you the spacer to fit um like that so basically what you would do is this is the driver's side, so if you were putting the coilover in, this would go towards the more of like where you're sitting. So this would go on that side, uh, closer um, to where the nut side is. So if you put the bolt in on the driver's side, you're putting the bolt this way, the nut goes on this way. This would go closer towards the nut side. So um, th that's just like a little to do with uh, the Godspeed Mono um, RSs. So uh, we got this side in in the rear. The fronts are already done. So Twan's just working on that right now on the rear. But yeah, that's what these little spacers are for. So if you guys do order these and get these in, that's what they're for. So basically this is what we have uh, them at right now. So nothing crazy. Like I said, we're just breaking them in. But these are already lowered for sure. So yeah, that's what it looks like for right now. All right, guys, so basically, uh, this is how the car is looking. Oh, by the way, I put some clear fogs on, too. But um, this is how it's looking with the suspension. So um, the wheel's definitely tucked a little bit now. I like how this looks. I like the setup. Um, I actually might leave the fronts like this. The, lo the backs, uh, I think I want to get down a little bit lower. Like I said, it's my daily driver, so I'm not trying to have it slammed to the ground. But, I mean, I, I want it lowered for sure. So I definitely want to get at least, like, a little bit lower with the tire here. But um, it looks awesome. So going on from there, uh, they actually ride pretty well. So uh, I do notice that they are pretty soft. So I have them on a setting out of the 32 uh, levels of dampening. I have it on 16. So basically all I did is uh, 
with the knobs, all I really did is I turned it all the way to one side and then I just went back 16s because obviously 16 is in the half of the 32. So now since it's been about a week that um, I've been riding on the coilovers and such, uh, I'm going to start turning the dampening a little bit uh, more up just so we can actually get it a little bit harder, uh, more towards the harder side of uh, the springs and such just to see what how it's going to feel. I'll probably go up another 8. So um, from 16 we'll go to 24 just to see how it goes from there. So I'm trying to keep it consistent with each. Um, so obviously I have to take the rear, uh, basically the plastic parts off again and do all that jazz. So I'll be doing that soon. But um, for now, I mean, the car has been acting awesome um, with the suspension. It feels like it's definitely like gripping the, the street way more than those sh old blown struts and um, the OEM ones. So they look sleek, they ride nice. Um, I overall, I love them. Um, they are super great. Uh, Godspeed, you guys definitely did good with these coilovers. Um, they're awesome for the price. So I would definitely check them out, guys, uh, at godspeedproject.com. On a scale from the TNs that I have, the TN Flex Z and the Godspeeds, I really don't see that much of a difference. Um, the TNs are a bit more stiffer, but like I said, I've been working on I, I've been working on that Z for a while. I've been driving on them for a while. I just surpassed uh, 117 miles on these uh, coilovers. So like I said, they're they're brand new. So I got to break them in, everything like that. The only thing that I was a little skeptical about was the washer that they give you with the rear uh, coilovers. Um, that's the only thing that kind of threw me off a little bit because I was like, ah, like I don't really know. But like I said, I don't, f I don't have an issue with any of that. Um, the only thing is, is when you're actually uh, like placing them in uh, position, you want to make sure that they're going down straight and with the washer because if you don't, the bolt that you actually get, your OEM bolt that you have with this uh, system that you've already had before, they don't give you any extra like hardware. So you need to use the OEM hardware. And if you don't have it sitting straight, the bolt won't fit all the way through and then you'll strip the threads. Uh, that's what me and Tuan ran into uh, that first night that we actually installed them. So uh, that's the only thing that I would really be skeptical about is just make sure that when you guys are putting that in, make sure it's straight, make sure the washer's in there and then tighten them down and you should be totally fine. So, um, but yeah, that's the only thing that I really have about them that kind of had me wishy-washy. But besides that, I mean, they're great. They ride great. Like I said, um, I'm just going to stiffen them up a little bit. And obviously I'll be giving you guys a more of a review down the line with, uh, what we're going to be doing if we're going to lower it a little bit or whatever like that. So, um, just wanted to say thank you again, guys, for, uh, subscribing, getting us past that a thousand. We're skyrocketing. So we love it. Um, again, we are having the drawing on Saturday, uh, night. Uh, on, it's going to be a live uh, YouTube video that we're going to be having the guys and I. We're going to be drawing out the names uh, for the five free t-shirts that we're giving out and the 10 free decals. So uh, be sure, like, comment, subscribe. Um, make sure that you're sharing our post, uh, that you're going up, sharing it with your friends, tagging three friends in the post uh, for the 1K giveaway. And uh, yeah, just uh, like I said, keep it going. Thank you very much. Thank you, Godspeed Project. Thank you to our sponsors. Uh, definitely go ahead and check out uh, godspeedproject.com. Like I said, they have tons of suspension parts for any type of car, especially the Z, so I would definitely check them out. Thank you so much for this. Uh, we love it, and uh, can't wait to get you guys more footage. Peace.